Tonight's on EO Noun. Could this be the first Ebola song? Liberian rapper Scientific releases track about Ebola. Can you feel my pain? Speaking of Ebola, director Kunia Folayan creeps about irrigation at Seychelle Airport. Meanwhile, in Ghana, group VVIP pays tribute to Hip Life veterans in new video book of Hip Life. We bring you just from Africa Fashion Week, which held this weekend in London. Also on the show tonight, we talk Nigeria's top 5 male stylists. Fun times, it's EO Noun. Is it true that only lazy people don't hate Mondays? Uh, I thought it was the other way around. Apparently, the very lazy workers and students are indifferent about Mondays because they don't do any work at all. Hmm, people will come up with any silly reason just to hate Mondays. Can I just leave the poor guy alone? Aha! Now, I agree with you, he has got to be a guy. Welcome to EL Now, fellow Africans and non-Africans. Now, did you guys have a good weekend and a not-too-bad Monday? We all did, but in case you didn't, EL Now Monday edition will change all of that in a moment. I am Cynthia Kamalu, and my partner in entertainment... Eken Basi. Last week, we had top fives for the foodies. Yes, that's Ooh. right. This week's top five is Female Fashion and Style Week, and you know what that means? It means for the whole of the week, EL Now Top Fives will feature everything female and fashion. Isn't that going to be amazing? We'll be checking out our top celebrity style secrets, top hairstyles, top dresses, top shoes. I don't see how any lady will want to miss a single episode of EO Now this week. All right, Cynthia. Now take a deep breath and then hold it until after the news. Hello, Pips. Let's spread some love from Liberia, where rapper Scientific has taken it upon himself to educate the masses on the deadly Ebola virus, spreading across West Africa through this track, Feel My Pain. With sanitizers, chlorine, wearing gloves and masks, physical contact with a victim could be your last. Victims are quarantined, I act to contain this. Once they're dead, these bodies are buried or cremated, no more handshakes and hugs. According to Scientific, the song, which is so far the first track dedicated to the virus, is channeled towards enlightening listeners and spreading the word. Still on the effects of Ebola, Nigerian director and actor Kunia Folonya has been speaking up about the not so welcome reception at Seychelles Belombre, where along with his brother Gabriel, they were isolated from the Kenyans aboard the flight. The ace director on Facebook shared the ordeal, whereas the West Africans aboard the flight, they were made to sign a lot of forms to ensure they weren't carrying the virus into the country. Well, the fear of Ebola is the beginning of wisdom. Suck it up, Kunle. <laughs> Moving on now to Ghana, where homegrown group VVIP have paid homage to the entertainers who created what is today the Hip Life Music Journey. We are very, very important people. VVVIP, no equals. Been doing this thing since before the Tago twins. It's Shrakwa, Bunny Friend of Blessings. Book of Hip Life, which features Reggie Rockstone, is a retro throwback of the pop culture in the 90s. Been way before your puppy gets a driver license. Before Kuala be Quatsons. Before Pijo Chaffa Ghana passed that since. Before Kwasi Sem became nonsense. And away to London, where this weekend saw Africa in full flamboyance at the 2014 Africa Fashion Week London. Profiling both emerging and established designers, this year had 24-year-old soccer whack Adeze Yobo as a celebrity ambassador for this year's event, which held at Kensington Olympia. Also spotted at the event were TV personality Fumi Yonda and Nigerian designer Ade Bakare. And finally, shout out to actress Damilola Adegbite who said yes to Chris Atta after a romantic public proposal. She's proudly showing off her huge rock on Instagram with her testimony. Love, love, love. And it's a wrap. You know the deal. Hook up with us online on Facebook.com forward slash TV and at EL underscore now TV and stay fresh. And that's the news. Okay, Cynthia. You can now breathe. <laughs> now tell me, what's with girls and the fetish with fashion and, you know, shoes anyway, especially shoes? Come on, Ekeng, you're exaggerating. Not all girls are crazy about shoes, but shoes certainly do have a supernatural effect on most women. You know, they're like drugs. When you try a new pair of shoes, you suddenly get this mood boost and it brings out the hotness in you. Try it. <laughs> no thanks. Now coming up after the break, we have a special package for you. Now don't move an inch. This is EL Now.